So before I start my my makeup, or well, before you start makeup, remember to wipe your face and just like this. Um, it's good to wipe your face before you do makeup and uh, uh, to remove uh, if he or she uh, has a pride in things like oil or ponds or any other makeup, you know, because you want to do something afresh, something new. So I'm going to start with um, spirit gum and uh, remember when you're doing special effect you don't do it like the normal makeup so must be you know must use creativity and um, and um, of course out of knowledge <laughs> To get exactly what you want. So we are praying spirit gum only on a part that you want to do your makeup or to demonstrate on on uh, spirit gum. Spirit gum. I think the word gum speaks. Um, so I don't think I will explain more about, I'm going to explain more about spill gum but because uh, it's a gum but it is not for other uses, it's only for, you know, for makeup I can say because I've been using, using that spill gum for a very long time and uh, there is no way you can use things like super glue on the client's face so spill it gum it's only for that purpose and uh, hi is lady my skin is is lady so then from there I'm going to use um, molding wax because I want to mold um, a flesh cut and uh, Definitely, I'm not using my head, I'm using spatula. Uh, it's for that purpose, for that business. And uh, it's very easy. It's very easy. Um, very, very easy. Slowly, take your time. Remember, makeup is art, so it's like I'm doing art. And makeup is fun, also. So that's step one. Step two, step two, step three. And um, from there, I'm going to use um, the normal powder, face powder. I'm sorry, yeah, forgot into powder. So to highlight his face. 
to just like this. It's like it's like you want to contour you know yeah to contour your 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 makeup yeah it's like you're braiding your your makeup or your dent your cut remember I've, I've, I've said that I want to show you how to do a flesh cut so you have to use it's good to use all this process you know Being a makeup artist, you need uh, you need to have a passion because uh, you can see like it's it's something like something very easy to do it, but remember you have to you know to invest also on this industry and. Um, to have that you know that passion so i'm going to use uh, another spatula spatula uh, spatula termini and uh, every spatula has uh, its work so i'm going to use this spatula all this you can these two depending with what you want to get or what you're doing so between the two let me use this one so you create your cut like that so and to make it look better remember you don't do it like several you know you just do it once so like that so then you took um, uh, your highlighter and you continue highlighting your makeup You must blade well because um, you know you must get what you are you know to achieve to get what you want let me say that yeah for the lead look little there it's just this easy it is not hard simple as that then uh, um then powder not the normal powder the makeup powder face powder
Then um, from there, now, now I'm going to use um, fake blood to make it look lil, the lil thing that I was uh, creating. And it's very easy, very easy. So remember I have used another spatula. Then I have a, a sponge, this sponge, it's a unique sponge to blend my blood, right? So, not everywhere. Not the normal sponge. See in the Ukate matrix, not the normal sponge, right? So, and my client, my client, is ready to act, and um, it's just a small cut. 